thank you very much. The Malawi government is uh, currently implementing the Malawi growth and the development strategy. And in that strategy, it has already been clearly stated that the, it won't be government alone to implement that strategy, but rely on the active participation of all groups, including uh, development partners. And we are very grateful uh, this time around uh, through the Malawi Scotland partnership that we are receiving support in different uh, sectors, being in the energy sector, in the, uh, the areas of gender, water supply, and even sustainable economic uh, development. So we are looking for support from different partners to partner with government to uplift the socio-economic uh, lives of many Malawians. Uh, so far, so good, but uh, at operational level, we need uh, to have a very good uh, working relationship uh, with the, the civil society organizations who are on the ground. We are very ready to support them whenever they are having uh, challenges. When the, we've already started with the Secretariat because they've been reporting to us some of the challenges which are, they are having. One of them being the issue of tax exemption on the capital inputs which they are bringing in for different projects. And we are very ready, we have already engaged the relevant bodies in the Treasury to look into this matter. And if it is proper uh, with all the partners, we are going to uh, sit down together and see how we can move forward. Uh, it has come to our office maybe in November and we have already uh, um, met the Minister of Finance, proper the Treasury, but uh, it's something which has been there but maybe it was not presented uh, to our office. If anything, maybe they were knocking on the, the long doors, but uh, the good thing is we have started moving forward. I'm Claire Tervin, I'm Deputy Director External Affairs for the Scottish Government. Just to say the warmth and depth of our relationship is something that we are so proud of in Scotland and something that we as a Scottish Government are really committed to build on. We're so grateful for the work of the Malawi Scotland Partnership and our partners in country who every day work to deepen that relationship and also to the contribution of the people in Malawi and Scotland who are working together every day. So we continually renew our partnership and I think that's one of the things that's so special about it. I've just been talking to a group of projects we fund and our partners from across Malawi, including representatives of the government of Malawi, about how our strategies interlock with each other, support each other, and how both governments and people can work together to support the sustainable development goals in both Scotland and Malawi. I think one of the things that we see with this relationship is every year it builds, it renews, it deepens, and that's something we're incredibly proud of. We're working together across a huge range of areas. And I think one of the things that's really impressed me in the conversations we've had so far today is the genuine warmth and commitment from all sides to improve how we work, to improve how we collaborate, and always to keep in mind our aim, which is to support partnership and friendship between the peoples of Scotland and Malawi. Certainly, this is a relatively new part of our strategy. We're working with a new company in Scotland called the African Lakes Company, which draws on the historical uh, links between Scotland and Malawi. And with this, in partnership with private investors from Scotland, we have matched their investment in Malawi to actually look for businesses across Malawi who could benefit from support, from capacity building, to grow their own activities. This is an incredibly exciting and it's new for us. And we think what's special about it is that it's government and private sector working in partnership together for the benefit of businesses here. Thanks.